Does he have anything else to say? I lost all my items. Do you still have your belongings? My stuff? Yeah. It's all gone. I guess the demon lady took it. I see. Okay, let's... Wait. Hmm? What did you try to buy? What? You said you tried to buy something at the store today. Why are you asking this now, of all times? Just curious. It was a chocolate eclair. Huh. Do you like eclairs? Chocolate only? Is this really the time to have this discussion? When else? I'm bored now, not later. It's not like I have much to think about in this cage. I'm leaving. Wait, at least tell me your name and I'll leave you in peace. <sighs> it's Lacey. Huh. Will that be all? Yeah. I'll be going then. Good luck. Trying not to get killed. Hmm. I'm not sure where I am right now. But all I have to do is find the exit without running into that monster. Or should I help that guy first? A portrait of a scary looking person. A portrait of a person with a goat for a head. Portrait of a person with a crow forehead. It looks nothing like those cute crows I've been seeing all around. A portrait of a person with a heart for a head. Like, actually, a legit heart. A portrait of a person with knives floating above their head. Portrait of a girl with horns growing out of her face. Various strange portraits adorn this wall. So, portrait of a person with a brain for a head. Portrait of a person with a gaping mouth. I don't like this one. A portrait of a pretty looking lady. She looks like she's made of porcelain. Cute. 
a portrait of a person with an animal skull for a head. A portrait of a person with an animal skull for a head. A portrait of a person with many eyes. Okay, so I got stairs there. Over here is a hallway. What's done? Okay, and we have a door. It's locked. Okay. Oh, we're in a library. A reading table. A pile of books is falling. Could spell your end. Okay. Book shorter than you, okay. Bookshelf housing hundreds of books. One of them stands out. Read a passage? Of course. I don't think you should be testing on her anymore. Her powers hold potential. I wish to entertain this idea a little longer. She's incapable of any sort of coherent thought. We're just wasting souls on her. Hmm. Stands out. Is it the same book? Okay, yeah, it's the same book. A bookshelf housing hundreds of books. Pile taller than you. A bookshelf housing hundreds of books. One of them stands out. Read a passage? Yes. I don't know why I've decided to talk to you. Maybe it's because you look really pitiful. You're so worthless that no matter what tests they put you through, you fail them all. If I had just left you alone that day, You wouldn't be wasting your own time here. Tomorrow, Glenn will discontinue your test. You better thank me. I'm the one who told him to. I'm just sick of seeing you. Oh. Wow, it's a little harsh. Hundreds of books. Hundreds of books. Bookshelf housing hundreds of books. One of them stands out. Read a passage? Yes. The 36th experiment has failed as well. I'm telling you. She's practically just a used tissue. Useless, useless demon. You're wasting our time. Calm down, I can't work when you're so nosy. Go play with your other dolls. Maybe I will. Hmm. A bookshelf housing hundreds of books. Bookshelf housing hundreds of books. One of them stands up. Read a passage? Of course. Are you upset? No, of course not. You look like you're deep in thought. 
Are you one who did this to her after all? Glenn, back off. Heh. <laughs> if I'm correct, you're getting yourself into a messy situation. I'll be fine. Interesting. Door? It's locked. Okay. So, door's locked there. Just look around here. Nothing there. Nothing here. Okay. So, this is a dead end. That door is locked up there. That's where I came from, so I guess the stairs. Ooh. She looks like she's coming straight out, like that's actually her. It's really creepy. Is that her? A spooky painting seems to be missing both eyes. Uh, yeah. I agree. It, like, literally it looks like her. Psst. Come here. Oh. What? Oh. A human? Interesting. I'm curious how you got all the way here, but no matter. Are you looking for a way out? Yes? Who are you? I do not have a name. Hmm. I hear her. Miss Knives is roaming around. Miss Knives? I meet her? Yes. I saw that. You really brought out the crazier in her. It's quite some days since I've seen her freak out like that. Days? That's not very long. It's the longest she's ever gone without breaking down. I didn't know demons have things troubling them. We usually don't. But no matter. To avoid you wandering aimlessly until you get killed. I'll help you because we have come and go. Alright. I'm looking for a cursed door. I know where it is. You just have to destroy this place and you'll find it. Oh, what do you mean? Destroy this place. Ah, uh, yes. Miss Knives is a strange case. She created this place out of her own desires. But the house doesn't actually exist. I see. 
The only way to exit this place is to break the illusion. Remind her who she is. Or rather, who she isn't. Why don't you have a name? Is this an illusion? How do I get out of here? My items are gone. Uh, let's go with my items are gone first. That seems like most important. By the way, I came here with a lot of things, but they're all gone. You should have them back when you get out of here. Are you sure? 99%. Uh, why don't you have a name? You don't have a name? I wasn't given one. But when you live a solitary life, you don't need a name. You are free to call me what you wish. You humans seem to want to name everything. Can I call you Spider? That's a terrible name. Do you call other humans human? Is this place an illusion? So, this place isn't real? You could say that. Miss Knives made it. She only sees what she wants to see. And we're both stuck in her delusions. Haven't you wondered why there would be a cozy house so deep inside the facility? How do I get out of here? There are five black objects scattered around this place. You need to find a way to unseal those items and burn them in the fireplace in the proper order. Sounds simple enough. How will I know what the correct order is? Not sure. It has something to do with her memories. I see. I hear her coming. Quickly! Take this and go hide. Run, run. Ooh. I don't know, we'll go back in the library, I guess? Now we have a lighter. I don't remember seeing black object pile of books taller than you. Oh, no, I didn't mean, didn't mean to press that. Okay. Of course, that was like a long passage. All right, let's continue over here. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think there's a. There's a 
still locked, it's still locked. Okay. Alright, so let's, I guess, go back up here. That painting really scares me. Oh! A broken pot where spider was. Portrait of a person with horns. A portrait of a girl with long nails. A portrait of a scary lady. There's a grinning person above it. Both look unsettling. A portrait of a person with octopus plush for a head. Portrait of a person with flowers for eyes. Portrait of a person with blood running down their face. Can they see properly? Portrait of a person with an eye. Portrait with a person with a butterfly for a face. Is the butterfly a part of their face or just resting on it? Portrait of a person with tentacles for a head. A painting that's mostly just blue. Oh, okay, this is that blue painting, right? It's touched again. Blue powder sticks to your finger. This would have been the exit. Oh. I should have expected that? I suppose it makes sense. You can't just walk out of the illusion. There's nothing there. It's no use. It's just a wall now. A bathtub filled with black liquid. It's so big, I could fit like four of me in there. Check if there's anything useful inside. Uh, sure. Obtain a key. Honestly, I thought it was going to kill me. So, that's cool. Old cactus. Pink flowers and a vase. Nothing on the shelf interesting. Nothing interesting. 